Welcome to Almost Here, Round the Corner of Future Technology Podcasts with Richard Jacobs. Future Technologies, poised to transform our lives for better or worse, are the focus of this podcast. Almost Here means these technologies are now here and starting to be used. We're just around the corner, from Bitcoin to artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, virtual reality, and more. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Future Tech Podcast. I'm your host, Juliette Lamar, and joining us for a second time is Rakita Gala. She's the founder at Virtual Marketing Revolution and Rare. Rakita joined us a few months ago, and we're so excited to have her back on. Welcome back, Rakita. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. So uh, just to give a little recap to, to our listeners, can you give us a little insight about Virtual Marketing Revolution and V Rare, what you guys do over there, and who you are. Uh, sure. So uh, I am from a virtual reality and augmented reality marketing um, company, and we provide services like e courses and design and development. Uh, along with that, we also do consultation and project management services. And uh, Virtual Marketing Revolution is actually an event that we are coming up with. And uh, the event is going to be taking place totally in uh, virtual reality with the help of Oculus Go. And um, yeah, that's it's all about how you can incorporate VR, AR for your business and marketing. That is fantastic. So what are some of the, the most popular ways for people to implement in virtual reality into their marketing or augmented reality into their marketing? Uh, so what uh, what we are actually trying to uh, do on the event is also uh, similar to this. So we are going to be training on how to incorporate both these technologies into their business or marketing strategy. And one of the way is like, let's say um, you are uh, having some sales process, like a product or something, and you want to demonstrate that. Probably you can create... Um, virtual reality uh, product and you can see those products in virtual reality and on the other side you can actually use augmented reality to see the product live in your real environment or you could uh, do like you know your printed ads or something like that and incorporate um, AR on them and integrate it with your funnel or your website or something like that and there are other couple of ways like you know web based AR then Facebook has come with uh, augmented reality into the messenger so these are the strategies that we are looking to cover. So if a customer, so let's just walk some people through, give them a, a real life example. Um, so if say I'm buying a couch and I'm at online shopping at my home, I can take this application and kind of put a couch, the couch I'm looking at into my living room with uh, augmented reality and see what it looks like and how big it is and all that. Is that kind of what we're going for here? Uh, yes, actually. So, uh, in fact, now, uh, past two months, there have been so much of development in the industry uh, with, like, web-based AR. So, that's uh, one of the ways that I think it's going to, um, you know, make augmented reality more mainstream. Uh, like, if you are aware, I'm not sure. So, Google has integrated augmented reality into Chrome uh, browser. Then, Apple has integrated augmented reality into uh, Safari browsers. Then... Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, they have integrated augmented reality. So uh, there are a couple of ways now that you can integrate and the users can actually try the product before they even buy it. And uh, it's a really fantastic thing because I think uh, we always want to see first how it looks rather than, you know, first going to a store and buying it. So this gives you a real life uh, visualization of the product. So. And it's such a game changer for for companies, I think. You know, when I buy something online, I don't always return it, but sometimes you have to buy something and then you get it and then you see how it fits in your home or you, you try the, the product on and then you realize, oh, okay, maybe this isn't exactly what I need or what I want. And so then you send it back, which I'm sure is a huge problem for, for companies. And being able to test it out with augmented reality, I'm sure has a lot of, of perks. Uh, okay. Cutting down on returns, yeah. uh, happier customers, etc. Yes, that's true. In fact, um, uh, you can actually show them the exact size uh, with augmented reality. Like uh, Apple has actually integrated measurements and all those kind of features in iOS 12. So you can actually measure the size of the product and you can actually see whether it fits in, in your house or, you know, whether it fits on you. 
So companies can actually make use of uh, this technologies in very uh, different manner. Like you know, they can ha- add textures to it so that you know it looks uh, real and you know people like to see how the quality of the product is. So that's also one of the way that you know uh, customers uh, would like to engage with the product and see even before they buy it. So. um i think yeah company as well as the customers they both uh, have the benefit of using augmented reality and what companies what companies what types of companies are currently using the service uh so there are a couple of uh, companies now uh with facebook messenger actually uh, so facebook messenger has integ- uh, integrated augmented reality with uh, like you can use it with uh, ai bots and uh, they have opened a beta stage a uh, beta level uh, this thing Uh, for the platform uh, so shifora nike they have been using augmented reality to uh, actually you know show the products when they uh, when a user is engaging with their bots and uh, let's say it's a makeup shifora so um, with the help of uh, ai bots the users can actually you know uh, click the button like try me or try on depending on what they use so the camera facebook messenger camera would open up and um, they would be able to see the front camera and see the makeup on themselves how it looks and directly go ahead and check it out so yeah shifora nike gap l'oreal um then amazon walmart wayfair i mean there are all the top companies now who have integrated augmented reality and and in order for customers to access this all you really need is your 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 phone or a tablet yeah 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 like any uh, so now actually uh, with web based ar you can actually use augmented reality on your desktop as well as your laptop um, with the help because i mean all the laptops and desktop now they have webcam uh, web cameras so with the help of web cameras uh, you can use augmented reality that it's such a game changer and such a an interesting new future and and clearly it isn't even the future it's it is what's happening currently and If you're not a company that is really implementing this service, um you're going to find yourself behind behind the curve really, really quick. Yeah, in fact, um like you know, there are lots of companies um right now who have started working on uh, integrating like you know even uh, mid-level or B-level brands, they have started working on um you know integrating augmented reality because I think uh, many businesses are now seeing the opportunity and <laughs> they don't want to miss the opportunity of integrating what is actually a solution for customers as well as businesses. Oh, 100%. Um and then going into to the other the other segment that you that you deal with, um you know, online learning, e-courses and and consultations. Tell us a little bit about that and how you how you implement that and how customers can use that. Uh so I'm actually training and consulting uh, people or I mean anybody individual or any companies uh, on how to integrate augmented reality virtual reality mixed reality uh then AI bots with their um, marketing funnels and stuff like that and uh, the main reason that I am working on this is because there are hardly uh, any professionals who are uh, helping marketing industry or you know uh, working one on one with small businesses so um i see it uh, here and i don't want that you know um, i cannot do anything when it's in front of me so i started working on creating courses and training people and helping as much as i can of course and give us a little bit of a uh, you know an overview of this event that's coming up uh so the event is uh, actually uh, as i said it's on vr ar and how to incorporate these technologies with uh, business operations and for productivity and marketing sales processes and it's on uh, february 2nd uh, and 3rd and uh, what we are looking to do is um, spread the word of uh, vr ar technology and bring more awareness and we want to actually uh, do it in vr so that you know uh we are teaching what we are implementing so uh, we are going to be shipping oculus go to every attendee which they uh, which they will be able to keep it for themselves and we are going to be shipping oculus rift to every speaker and on the other side we are actually creating our own software to host this entire event and we are hoping to have like around 5000 people live at the same time and we've created like networking rooms and you know auditorium rooms and stuff like that so it's going to be like a live event that you attend but 
but it's in virtual reality and that helps a lot of people to save cost time uh, and be more productive. And how, if people are interested in coming to this event, um, you know, how do they sign up and what's required? Uh, so um, they actually don't require anything other than internet because we are going to be uh, sending them Oculus Go and uh, that's a standalone device. So all they need is just to be connected with their uh, Wi-Fi or, you know, any kind of hotspot that they use and they will be able to uh, log in into the access that we provide them for the event. Uh, that's, of course, after they buy the tickets. So um, after they do that, they will be... Um, you know, able to log in and have the access to the event, the networking rooms and stuff like that. And they can go ahead and buy the tickets actually on the website. And uh, so where where do they purchase the tickets and what can people expect to pay for a ticket? Uh, So the ticket can be purchased on virtualmarketingrevolution.com. And the price right now we are having is for the early uh, bird discount, that's $1,500. And uh, we are going to be shooting up up to $2,500. And how long does the early bird special last? Uh, for one more month. All right. So you guys better get out there and get your tickets. Um, do you have, um, you mentioned, you know, that it's going to be a collaboration and networking, all that. Are there specific points that, that you're going to be covering at this, at this uh, conference? You know, how-tos or specific rooms that are marketing and, and networking for a very specific group of people. Do you have all that laid out? Oh, yes. So what we are uh, going to be doing is like a small conference room for speakers. And, you know, if somebody wants to engage with the speaker and have like a Q&A session in private, they can do that. Uh, then there are going to be other networking rooms where they can engage with uh, the other attendees and, you know, learn more about them and connect with them on a professional level. Uh, because I think that's one of the criteria why people attend the events. Uh, other than that, we have our sponsors, booths and stuff where, um, like, you know, the attendees can actually go ahead and get more information about the speaker or, you know, the brands, what they are doing and stuff like that. So that's the entire concept of the event. And we'll be having small se- uh, sessions like, you know, pre-party and post-event party. So, so exciting and, and such a great event to to be hosting. So going back into a broader broader idea of virtual reality marketing and augmented reality marketing you're in this business you know where do you see this all going and and what other problems do you think it's going to be solving further down the line i think um both of these technologies have a very different uh, or you know a very unique uh, way of actually making it uh, into the market and uh, you know, many people think augmented reality came from nowhere, but uh, actually the fact is that augmented reality was always there. And we have been using augmented reality in some or the other manner, like, you know, Facebook filters or phone camera filters or Snapchat lenses. These are all kind of augmented reality. Uh, even if you see uh, Google, Google uh, GPS, it's a kind of augmented reality. Um, and like, you know, if I would uh, to actually just like, you know, say where it is going. So I think this is actually going to be the next wave of technology. And in fact, it is the next wave of uh, technology. And all the top companies are looking to uh, create this technology in a manner that you don't require any gadgets anymore, or, you know, like a phone or a TV or, you know, those kind of things. Because in virtual reality, in fact, Oculus has created um you know oculus tv where you can actually go ahead and hang out with your friends talk to them watch tv and have live shows and all those things so uh in fact nowadays even i don't use tv anymore I, even if i want to see netflix i just put on my oculus go and watch a netflix on a 120 inch screen so i think it's a really fantastic way of incorporating uh, different things depending on the businesses that they are doing but uh, each technology has its own positive uh, positive and a negative side and what are some of the negative sides that you are that are you seeing uh, so let's say in virtual reality you can actually um, you know um, demonstrate and do those kind of stuff but if you were to see the product live like you know how it actually looks with regards to rendering the texture and how it looks in a real environment 
you cannot do that because in virtual reality you are totally immersed in a different world altogether whereas in augmented reality you can actually visualize the product in a real environment and you can actually see your real environment um with an additional overlay of a digital content so i think both the technologies are very different in and very unique in their manner and uh, yeah one of this is a major uh, negative side of the technology but i think that's where mixed reality helps because um, it combines both the things together 100% i mean this is such an exciting do you plan if people can't make this event in february are you planning on hosting more events in the future oh yeah 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 so we are going to be hosting events regularly uh, now because i think it's very important for us to bring more awareness about these technologies and bring it to the mass and uh, we are really pushing it and we want to work towards this thing so people can go to the website purchase tickets um if they can't make this next one and they want to know more about upcoming events or want to research your company more um and get involved and maybe get some of your consultation services what is the best way for people to connect to follow to to keep up with what you're doing uh i think the best way to connect is uh, to connect on our facebook page called we are uh, vmr uh or we rare that's augmented reality marketing um, page and uh, they can keep following us and uh, you know they can see what we are doing and other than that they can actually connect with me on linkedin or on facebook if they have any personal questions that they would like to be answered or you know they need any consultation or anything wonderful and so that is v r a r e for those of you who are interested in knowing how v rare is spelled Um Rakita, thank you so much for joining us here today on Future Tech Podcast and I really hope that a lot of our listeners go out and meet you in a virtual world at your event. Thank you so much. It is a pleasure having you. Uh I mean being on your show. Oh, thank you so much. That is Rakita Gala. She is the founder at Virtual Marketing Revolution and V Rare. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This has been Juliet Lamar with Future Tech Podcast. You have been listening to Almost Here Around the Corner Future Technology Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Subscribe to this podcast both to review and discover more future technologies that are poised to transform our lives for better or worse, such as Bitcoin, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, virtual reality, and more.